we are going to make drumstick dessert. So it's the same kind of thing as, you know, those ice cream drumsticks that you buy in the cone. Very similar flavoring of that. So what we have here is one and a half cups of graham crumbs. The recipe calls for the chocolate graham crumbs. I only have the regular in house, so I'm going to add a quarter cup of cocoa powder to that to give me my chocolate graham crumbs. And we're going to also add in, uh, I have a quarter cup of some finely chopped walnuts. You can use pecans if you like. This is just in the base of the dessert. And a quarter cup of peanut butter. And I also have a quarter cup of butter. I just softened my butter a bit. So I want the, to be able to mix this together. So you're just going to get this mixed up. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Okay, so it just took a couple minutes to just mix this by hand so we don't have any big clumps of butter or peanut butter in there. So it is a bit of a crumbly texture. I want to take out a quarter cup right away to reserve for decorating on top. And we're going to put this in a springform pan. You can also put this just in a 9 by 13 pan if you like. I just like these desserts that are the nice triangle when you cut them up later. And we are just going to press this into the bottom. And that is your bottom layer. All right, so we've got the base pressed into the pan and now we're gonna work on the next layer. So this is basically the ice cream layer. I've already whipped up my whipping cream. The recipe calls for Cool Whip, which you can use, just your one liter tub. I like to use whipping cream if I have whipping cream in the house. So this was just 500 mils that I've whipped up and just set it aside because that's gonna be the last thing we're gonna put in. So what we have here is our cream cheese, which is one block of cream cheese. That's your 250 gram or your eight ounce block of cream cheese. And I have a half a cup of sugar. I'm just gonna start getting these two things blended together. I'll be scraping my a few times here. I'm also going to add right away my half a cup of peanut butter into this because I want these to be creamed up nice because I don't want to have any lumps of the cream cheese. I want it all to be nice and smooth into the dessert. And I had a lump of cream cheese there. just want to get these ones mixing together. Gonna just scrape the sides a couple of times because I want this all mixed well. Get all the way to the bottom when you do that. All right, it's looking pretty smooth. So I'm also gonna add in two eggs. the bottom again because I know it's packed to the bottom there a little bit and I want those eggs mixed in well. teaspoons of pure vanilla extract that just mixed those together and I'm going to mix this in and we're also going to scrape the bowl again because it's a liquid trying to mix in with the butters we just want it to be mixed in well You 
want that all nice and smooth without any lumps. cream. Just going to mix this in by hand. I don't want to deflate my whipping cream by mixing it with the mixer. So I'm just going to fold this in by hand. Smell the peanut butter. It smells nice. All right. So this is your ice cream layer. So of course this is going to be have to freeze, and you need a minimum four hours to freeze this because you want it frozen solid, preferably eight hours or overnight before you would serve it. So if you're going to use it. For a party or so, you want to make sure you make it the day before so you know it's frozen solid. I'm just going to get all that whipping cream out because there's quite a bit in there. Alright, I'm going to smooth this out and then I'm going to get the things I need to decorate the top. So for the topping, you're going to take your reserve crumbs that you had put on the bottom and we're going to use this to decorate the top because when you buy those drumstick desserts, they have all that crunch on the top. So we've got some of our chocolate base. I've chopped up just some peanuts that I had in the house and I just used a measuring cup to crunch them up. You can use regular plain peanuts. I happen to have honey roasted, I think. That's just what I had in the house. So I'm going to just put those on the top. And, or you can use pecans if you want. But the peanut is usually the one that they have on the top of this recipe, of this, in the, when you buy the dessert. That's probably a, probably a third of a cup or more even that I happen to crunch up and we're going to put on some caramel sauce and chocolate syrup in the freezer so usually what I do when I wrap these up I like to use a couple of plastic bags and I put them on top like this and then I take my elastics and I get somebody to help me to put an elastic around here so that it can not touch the bottom you can also use saran wrap but I do find it tends to fall in but I do like to get use this with an elastic around my container and then you're going to get this in the freezer and make sure you freeze that for a minimum four hours. You probably need eight hours or overnight. And then, of course, you can slice it up to serve it. So here's the recipe and give this one a try. It's a really nice dessert. <laughs> 